Hello, I am your cyborg instructor, and I will be teaching you how to be a relay officer. If you would like to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before, then I suggest you find a different ship to work on. Otherwise, you are in the right place. I hope you are the social type, because as the relay officer you are expected to handle incoming messages and communicate with other vessels. Let's select the space station and press open comms. Unfortunately, the long-range radio transceiver is in disrepair, so all communications are performed through text. Respond to messages using the predetermined responses. A history of all messages can be found at the bottom of the console. Friendly ships and space station may be able to provide aid, if you ask nicely. While docked you can also spend reputation for rearmament of spent missiles. The weapons officer can tell you what is needed. There are many objects you will encounter on your voyage through space. Here are some of the icons you may need to recognize on your radar. The relay officer can launch up to eight high-speed probes to any point in the sector. These probes fly toward a location and transmit short-range sensor data to the ship for 10 minutes. Probes cannot be retrieved and can be destroyed by enemies, but your ship's stock of probes can be replenished by docking at a friendly space station. If you think this is too difficult, you could always join the security team. But be aware that your red uniform may make you a target, and you will most likely die. Select a probe and press, link to science, to allow the science officer to scan entities within the radar of the probe, regardless of distance. Let's talk about waypoints. Select, place waypoint, and simply press at any location. A numbered waypoint will appear. This waypoint will also appear on the radar window of the helms, weapons, and science officers. They will see the direction of the waypoint, but you will need to provide distance data to your crew. For example, when performing a jump, distance is critical. If you miscalculate, you could die, or worse. It could reflect poorly on me. So please be cautious. The science officer can hack enemy ships within range. Select the ship on the map, and press the Start Hacking button. Select the target system to be hacked. A successful hack will reduce the functionality of the target system by 50%. You can hack multiple times to disable a system 100%, but functionality slowly returns over time. All advanced space age equipment are based on Lights Out or Minesweeper, as we all know. Complete the game to hack the system. Lights Out requires the user to fill all the spaces, and Minesweeper requires the user to find all the mines using the given numbers. If you do not know the rules of these games, then please go and do your own research and do not bother to return. If you mess up, it is no problem. Simply press the reset button. This role is critical for exploring the galaxy. Communicate frequently with the science officer to explore the surrounding space, and provide waypoints and distances to the helms officer for travel. This ends the relay officer training. Good luck, and thank you.